Um, so the Honourable Prime Minister has asked me to uh, address the Gender Action Plan and gender outcomes. Um, I think that for those of us who, who are new to the UNFCCC world, uh, one of the most significant things about it is, is how few women there are, uh, especially in national delegations and, and um, in, in leadership roles. So, so a very important outcome for COP23 is of course uh, the launch of the Gender Action Plan. It's very significant because it addresses uh, the question of how women and women's work can be better integrated in the UNFCCC processes. And to celebrate this very significant um, uh, event this year, we are um, hosting with Switzerland and the UNDP a gender dinner for women heads of delegations, as well as women heads of institutions, uh, to talk about how women who are already empowered in the, in the processes of climate change can empower and encourage other women. And we are with Australia at Precop um, to get hosting a gender breakfast which has a similar focus but of course with a Pacific Islands uh, focus so I think you will find that COP23 also celebrates uh, the involvement of women in all climate policy matters both substantively and procedurally and uh, that it is in the, indeed a very significant year in climate policy for women so I think Fiji is very proud uh, to mark that this year